Okay, so this is the first ever episode of my Noob to Pro series with every single fruit on Blocks Fruit. Today, we're going to be starting with an extremely popular light fruit. So, we're going to eat this fruit. We're going to go from level 1 to level 2450, the max level in Blocks Fruits, in a single video. And we've got a bunch of things we've got to do along the way. Alrighty, so before we get started with this challenge, i got to list off a couple things that we need to get done before the end of this video. The first one is get light to the max mastery of 600. The second is go get observation hucky. The third is to get regular hucky, flash step, and jump step. And the fourth is to awaken this fruit. So, in order for this to be a proper noob to pro, we have to get all of those done in the single video. So it's going to be a lot, it's going to be challenging, but we're going to get it done. Alright, so light is probably one of my favorite fruits in the entire game because you actually get a weapon with it, which I think is really, really cool, and it helps out a lot. So we're going to go over the first ability. As you can see, it's just a weapon. It's pretty simple, but the actual first ability is the light ray, and it just shoots them with a big, like, beam of light. It, it's kind of cool. It's pretty basic, but it's kind of sick, so I like it a lot. Alrighty, so before we go any further, we're at level 10 at the moment. Now, I need to go over a couple things first. So, we need to collect these buttons. As you can see behind me, I've got one of them. We need to go and get all these buttons because they're going to be really important later on. I'm also going to show you guys the second ability. This is Light Flight. As you can see, it's very, very cool. It's very fast as well, and it gets better when you can awaken it. This is the second button over here as well. The third button is over here on top of the stone pillar. The fourth button is on this tree up here. There we go. And the last button is over here on this little stone stone outing or beach i don't know stone beach whatever you want to call this one of the most important things i have to do in this video is get a fruit that is worth one million dollars now why must i do this because in the third c to get to the third c should i say you have to have a fruit that is worth a million dollars dollars in your inventory and you have to give it to someone in order to get to the third C. It's one of the requirements and it's annoying. So we're going to get an early start on it by trying to roll at the blocks for gacha early on in hopes we get something good. All right, come on, give us something good. What are we going to get? Killer. Okay, that is definitely not going to help us, but hey, look, we're going to have a few shots of this before we get to the third C anyway. So hopefully we're able to pull in some luck and we'll see. Okay, so we are at level 90 and we are at the frozen snow area and it's really important that we come here because the, we got to do something very, very important we're going to come over here to the ability teacher and just learn every single ability he can teach us because they're going to be super useful later on so learn air jump learn the aura and we've got to learn the flash step as well which is a hundred thousand very expensive but that is what we've got to do now also there's another thing i want to show you guys the second ability of light the barrage of light ability because it's really cool all right so here it is the barrage of light ability there you go very very cool kind of does no damage at the moment just because i haven't put that many stats into blocks fruit which i need to put a little bit more into and it's also just not that strong of an ability but it is still a good ability and it definitely becomes a lot better later on Alrighty, so we are level 200 now which means we can go and do the saber quest this is really important because it's one of the requirements to get instinct so the first thing we're going to do is head back to the jungle where we push those green buttons that's why we did it so we're going to head back over there and i will see you guys when i'm back over there okay so now that we're back over at the jungle what we need to do is head to the middle part because we've already pushed all the green buttons we need to head down into this little hole right here i recommend hitting control because it makes it easy to get down the hole and i need to grab the torch over here this thing right here and we need to head across to the desert area once we are at the desert we want to bring the torch over to this little broken down house come down the stairs and burn down this door right here once the door opens you want to go and grab this cup which is sitting here once you've got this cup what you want to do is you want to head over to the snow area where you got aura and you got jump step which is just over here you want to take the cup back into the cave where you got all your abilities and you want to bring it to this icicle little thing and it will fill the cup up uh, you got to get it perfect it's very annoying there we go there we go it's filled and we can just head back over here and jump up the mountain and just head inside this house and talk to the sick man who will then tell you you that we need to go speak to his son back in the pirate village so now you just talk to this guy over here who is the rich man and he'll say thank you for helping my father but there is a mob boss who is stealing all my money so what you want to do is you want to head up here 
and you just want to come all the way over to this little island that's kind of hidden over here. Once you're over here, you want to head into this like dark cave and there he is, the mob boss, and you just want to kill him. Okay, there we go. Once we kill him, what you want to do is you want to head back over to the village. There we go. So we just go over to this guy, speak to him once more, and he'll pretty much go, thank you, here's this relic, and he'll give it to you. And then once you got this relic, what you want to do is you want to head over to the jungle area. Okay, so once you're over here, you want to go to this like area over here and you want to put the relic in the door. Now this will open up a secret little container or a chamber, whatever you want to call it, and the shanks or the saver boss will spawn right here. He isn't spawned for me right now because the server is relatively new, so I'm going to hop server real quick until I find him. Okay, I finally found a server within full. I think it took like probably eight tries. I highly recommend if you're doing this, use the server browser tab in the top left. Trust me, it will make life a lot easier because jumping from server to server is very annoying. Now, this guy is pretty strong, so you kind of want to be careful when you're low level. Uh, he, he does a lot of damage and the area is very confined, as you can see. You are the same level as him, so you will probably get killed once or twice. There we go, we got him. Okay, that took a very long time. He's actually very, very strong. You got to be very careful. Now, if you do die to him, just make sure you get back very, very quick. Like, you have to be back so quick otherwise his health will just fully like come back okay so now that we're level 300 it is a good idea for us to go and get observation hockey or instinct as it is known in this game so we're gonna unlock it here hey do you want to learn instinct the power of instinct allows you to sense all the presence of others while dodging yes 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 we want to learn it it's very expensive 750,000, but we've been saving a lot of money so not too bad anyway so now that we've got it these guys won't be able to hit us which is very nice uh, so we're going to be practicing using that a little bit. Ah, oh. So I'm going to show you guys the last two abilities. That is the Reflection Kick. This one right here. This is my favorite ability. I love this ability. You kind of like bounce like from mirror to mirror kind of. And then you like, you dome them. Doesn't do a lot of damage because these guys are like the top guys of the, uh, of the first C. And the next one is the Sky Beam Barrage, which is really OP. As you can see there, it causes a massive like AOE damage area. And it stuns the enemies for like a pretty long time too. So it's pretty solid. Okay, we're going to go and continue farming, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're level 500 now, and I thought it would be a good time to show off what Light can do in all its glory against this boss right here. He's a pretty easy boss to beat, as long as you stay away from the bazooka, then you're pretty good. So let's get into it. Okay, we killed him. I had the god I uh, This guy, I had no energy, and he just kept trying to kill me, and it was super annoying. I got, like, destroyed. So I just had to kill him real quick. It was really annoying, because I had to, like, run around until I had enough energy. But, uh, we all good now. Okay, so the first C is completely done. I just need to head over to the second C, do the quest to get there, and then we can head over there. Pretty plain and simple. But we've done pretty well for ourselves. We've already got Observation Hucky. We've got all our basic abilities. So we've just got a couple things left to do. Obviously, I have to awaken this entire fruit, which is going to take ages to do. But hey, that's a part of the grind. We've got to do it. Okay, it is currently nighttime, but we are in the second C. We have done it, ladies and gentlemen. But we have a couple things we need to go and do. The first thing is we need to get to level 850, and we need to complete the Colosseum quest so I can go and unlock Race V2. So let's go do that. Level 850, here we come. Alrighty, so we're level 850, which means we can start doing the Colosseum quest, which means I can go and get Race V2, Human V2 to be more exact. But actually, more importantly than going and getting Race, v2 is i got a fruit that is worth 1 million berries which is super super good because i'm gonna need that to get to the third c as i mentioned to you guys before you need a fruit that is worth over a million in order to go and kill don swan which is a requirement in order to get race v3 and also a requirement to get to the third c so super good that we got that we're able to just store that away now and we don't have to worry about it anymore so let's go and do this coliseum quest Alrighty, so the coliseum quest is complete which means it only gives me a couple things left to do all i have to do here is just go and collect the three different types of flowers in order to give them to the alchemist which will allow me to become a human v2 and then i will go do human v3 but that's later on i'm gonna try and get to level 1100 so i can start hosting raids on this account as well which will help a ton because we need to get a ton of fragments in order to get this light awakened okay so i've just gone and gotten race v2 now race v2 is really easy to get you just have to collect three different types of flowers one you find around the map normally one only spawns at nighttime, and one you just get by killing enemies very simple stuff but 
all race v2 does for human it's actually probably one of the worst race v2s in the game is it gives you an extra like more range on your flash step and an extra like instinct dodge it's really trash uh human doesn't really become that great of a race until you get v4 uh i wish i got rabbit because rabbit v2 is actually super super good but anyway nonetheless we're gonna go and level up to level 1100 as i mentioned before i need to go and start doing raids which means i need to get to level 1100 if i want to start hosting them on my own and i'm gonna get my other account in to help me do them as well so let's get to awakening this fruit all right ladies and gentlemen i got the first ability completely awakened it is called the divine arrow and it is absolutely amazing so before what this ability did it was just like this one beam thing it just shot like a little powerful beam of light now if you hold it down and you hold it you shoot three massive powerful beams of light it's literally three times as good okay so i got the second ability and as you guys know the flight ability on light only allows you to move in one direction you physically cannot control it so you kind of have to just like point and click but now once you awaken it you can not only you know fly but you can just pick what direction you want to go in which makes flying so much easier now it's not perfect it does take a few seconds for it to kind of bounce a little bit but it's pretty good it's a lot better than what it was before like not being able to control and move that thing midair is very very annoying okay so we got the next ability the hand of the emperor so i'm going to show you guys what this one can do before it was that big barrage of like attacks that did like no damage these are pretty high level enemies so this might not do any damage but as you can see it's uh it's a big difference uh <laughs> these are really high level enemies and it just did that much damage it's just a big old like thing of light it's pretty cool I, I actually really like it wow these abilities do a lot of damage okay so the next one we got is the light speed destroyer the sea ability now these abilities are getting pretty expensive ain't gonna lie uh they're actually getting a lot harder and considering i have to wait so long uh because i have to wait either two hours to get a new fruit or I have to wait like an hour i think it is for the actual raid like card i can just rebuy it but anyway let's show you the light speed destroyer here we go so you just hit an enemy with it and as you can see it just does like a full wombo combo and just absolutely messes them up really fun ability to use okay so we have the next ability now so we've got all the abilities this ability is fairly named the wrath of god because the ability is absolutely ridiculous so before it made a massive aoe like circle that did a bunch of damage now it's kind of the same thing but it's a lot stronger it doesn't take as much like it doesn't have as much lag on it if you know what i'm talking about and it does like a lot more damage so it's, it's very very strong it's a very op move Highly recommend getting that last ability as it's just absolutely insanely broken. Without further ado, we must go now to get race v3. But in order to get race v3, there's one thing we must do before that. Okay, so in order to get race v3, what we need to do is we need to speak to Trevor over here, Mr. Trevor. And we need to give him this love fruit. It's very annoying, but you have to give him a fruit to like that's worth over a million berries. It's absolutely ridiculous. But here we go. All we have to do is bring him this fruit. Pretty much just talk to him like this and then go there you go give so now we have access to don spawn which is the boss down here which we can go and kill once he has spawned but he hasn't spawned at the moment so we're gonna wait all right so i killed him now that took a very long time he actually did so much damage and i forgot to record it i was i thought i was recording the whole time but hey when was the last time you saw a bacon hair look this good with the glasses? Okay, so in order to get race v3 for human, I have to do a quest. Now that request requires me to kill Diamond, kill Jeremy, and also kill Vegeta. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but I'm just going to roll with that. It's pretty straightforward. Now, in order to get the quest, I have to go over here, which is kind of like at this massive flower garden area, and I have to come over to this kind of false door. You can sort of see the outline here, but you just kind of walk through it like this, and you talk to this bozo over here, and this guy will go, yo, you need to train, you're like really weak, yo, and then he'll tell you that you need to go and kill three people, which we're going to go do now. Okay, so the first one is Diamond, who is this guy. He's pretty easy to beat. Uh, I'm just going to use my absolutely broken abilities to destroy him real quick. Uh, he's not a very strong boss, so you shouldn't really have that many issues. There we go, we killed him, pretty st straightforward. So now we're just going to go to the next guy, which I believe is over here. Yeah, here he is, so I just got to kill this guy real quick.
There we go. We killed him. And now we just got to go kill Jeremy, who is like somewhere over here. I think he's, th I think he's on a mountain. Yep. Here he is. Pretty basic to find him. And I'm pretty sure he's pretty weak as well. Like you can kill this guy really easily. As you can see, I do a lot of damage to him. There we go, we killed him. So now I just gotta head back over to that quest giver and he should give us race V3 for a very expensive price of like 3 million or I think it's 2 million, I'm not sure. There we go, for 2 million dollars, we have now gotten race V3 so have unlocked an ability for human. Okay, so if you're wondering what the ability actually does, the last resort ability, it's very simple. The lower your HP, the more damage you do. It's not that useful when you are leveling up with a low gear fruit because you shouldn't really be taking any damage to begin with unless you're fighting bosses. Here it is, as you can see, it's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, that's about the extent of it. It doesn't really do a whole lot for leveling up. But for PvP, it's absolutely insane. Okay, so I don't know why, but I thought going to the third sea was at 1600, not 1500. And then I was like, wait, what am I doing? It's like 1am, okay? I'm tired as hell. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get into the third sea now because there's nothing left for us in the second sea. All we need to do is go to this guy, talk to him, and then we gotta go beat up this guy over here. He's, he's pretty easy to beat. Honestly, he doesn't have that many abilities that are very good. Okay, so we did it. Now we're just going to let this cutscene play. I, I mean, you guys have probably seen this a thousand times. So I'm just going to go to the third C in three, two, one. Okay, we have done it. We are now in the third C, ladies and gentlemen. Now we've got one or two things left, should I say. The first is to get the mastery to level 600. We are almost there. We are at 574. The second thing is to reach max level. So I think the only thing that is suited for a moment like this is a montage of leveling up and hitting max mastery. Let's get it started. Max mastery and level 1700. Level 1900. Level 2100. Alrighty, and we are done at level 2450 completed. What fruit do you guys want to see me do next on this series? Remember, we're doing every single fruit in the game. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.